In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an Experience Builder app, which informs members of the public of their nearest schooling facility. This is done by using the Near Me widget. A member of the public can define the distance that they'd like to search from and then pinpoint their location. So in this example, we are returned with a number of schools in proximity order from the location that we defined. It can then explore information about these schools, including their distance and the school's location. To do this, we're going to start in ArcGIS Online, and what we need is a feature layer of the schools. If you've watched the tutorial on how to make the same app but using ArcGIS Instant Apps, you'll be familiar with this current setup that we're about to undertake, as the steps are the same for getting our data in order and creating the underlying map which powers both applications. So I've already got nurseries as a feature layer in my ArcGIS Online account. But if you don't know how to create a layer, there are two ways in which you can get started simply. The first is to upload your data from a spreadsheet. You can scan this QR code or copy the link of the URL on the screen to watch a video that will explain how you can do this. Alternatively, you can create a layer in ArcGIS Online by following the steps in this video you can see on the screen. And by following this video, you can create a custom layer with certain attributes and fields that you can then populate to begin to understand where your schools are located. Going back to ArcGIS Online, I've got my schools layer, so I now want to view this on a map. So to do so, we're going to open in Map Viewer. Here's a map that I've made already, which simply has different schools layers uh, ranging from secondary, primary and special schools. And I'm also going to add in nurseries, which was from the layer we were just looking at. So I've got my nurseries layer and I want to add it to ArcGIS Online. And as we can see, the symbology doesn't quite match the rest of the uh, symbology on this map. So we're going to go ahead and update that. I can edit the symbology style as follows. And I'm going to change the symbol to one of a baby, indicating that it's a nursery. I'm going to make this slightly bigger so that it fits the rest of the symbology. So now that the symbol matches the rest of them on the map, I also want to change how the information looks on a pop-up so that when somebody explores the information about a nursery, it's presented a bit cleaner than what we're currently seeing. And to do this, I'm going to navigate to the pop-ups tab. Now I'm simply going to delete the fields list as I'm going to manually be putting in uh, my fields and my content using a text button. So with this text button, it allows me to draw in fields from my data, but I can have control over the font, the font size and the colour. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some fields that I want uh, to be brought up from my data. And as you can see, I'm able to bring in fields such as the site name and address of the school. So all of these fields that I am selecting from my data have been predefined in advance within ArcGIS Online. So I've added in information already about the schools in terms of the telephone number, the address, the postcode, and I've done this all from the underlying feature layer. So because that's all been created in the background, I can then go ahead and reference those fields within the pop-up. Now I'd like to make all of my text an Arial font, and with the results of the site name and address, I would like them to be highlighted in a blue colour. Now, if I press done, we can see the information has updated here. So it's a bit cleaner that where it's presented to members of the public and they can easily understand and visualise the information presented about the nursery. So now that I've got a map which contains the fields appropriate for my different levels of schooling and I've customised how the visualisations look in terms of the symbology and also the information provided in a pop-up, I'm going to go ahead and save this map and now I can create my Experience Builder application.
Experience Builder provides you with a series of templates that you can choose from. In this application that we're going to make, I'll be using the Launchpad application, as this app focuses on the map at hand and allows you to select your own widget that you would like displayed on the page. In this case, I'll be using the Near Me widget. So let's go ahead and open up that template. As you can see, with Experience Builder, there's a lot more customization that is available to you. To begin, let's unlock the layout so that we can begin to edit our features. The first of which will be the title. Now I'm already presented with three widgets in the widget controller, map layers, legend, and table. I don't need my audience to view a table in this example, so I can just go ahead and delete that. But I would like to add a new widget. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button. And the widget that I am looking for is the near me widget, which is in beta. As you can see, by selecting this widget, it has now been added to the widget controller. I can go ahead and now customize this widget and set it up correctly. So first of all, let's make sure that it's linked to the map on the screen. And now we can look at the map settings. And this is where we'll understand which features are returned to us when you conduct a search. You can define the default search distance. For this example, I'm going to keep it at one kilometer, but you're able to change these units and distances as necessary. You can also change the heading label. So I'm going to set this as current location to help my users. And then most importantly, we can add analysis. And this will help her configure the app to return layers when we conduct a search. So I'm going to go ahead and select the nursery schools layer. And I would like to search by proximity. What this means is that I will be returned with a series of results in order of proximity to the location that I define. I would like to group all features of nurseries by their name. And I'm going to sort features by their distance rather than their field because I want the distance to be given to us in order of closest to furthest away. Now that I've set up my analysis for my nurseries, I'm going to go ahead and add another one for the next layer. Again, setting proximity and grouping these features by name. And I'll continue to do this for all of the different schools layers that I have as they are saved as separate layers in my ArcGIS online account. If you have all your schools in one singular layer, all you'll need to do is make sure that you've got that one layer configured correctly. Now that I have set up all of my layers that will be returned when I conduct an analysis, I can move on to the next step. I can change the results message as necessary. Now that my app is correctly set up, I'm going to go ahead and move my widget controller to a different location on the screen. Because when I open the near me widget, I don't want it to cover up any of the features on the map. So now that it's to the side, I can go ahead and save my application. If I wanted to go ahead and add a theme in Experience Builder, I'm able to do so, and this will change the look and feel of my application. I can also select an organization shared theme, which I've predefined in advance, so other members of my organization can also use the same colors and fonts. If I wanted to, I could add a text box to this map, and I could write some instructions for how a user would interact with the application. I can then go ahead and ensure that the background color is set to white so that this is clear over the map and just condense this into the corner. If I wanted to elaborate on these instructions, I could do so, but for the sake of this demo, I'm simply going to publish my app as is. So I'll go ahead and save and publish. Using this button here, we can preview the latest version of our application. By opening it in a new tab, I can now go ahead and interact with the app just as a user would. And now we can see 
I can select my location and I'm returned with a series of the closest addresses in terms of the schools that are near my location. From nurseries to primary schools and even secondary schools, I can go ahead and gain some insight into the school closest to me. And just like that, we've created an Experience Builder application to allow members of the public to search for their nearest schooling facility.